Man, ever since I stepped into the spotlight, introducing myself to millions <laughs> as the doc, I've gotten hit with this question a lot. How to overcome anxiety as a dancer. We're going to wrap a taste about it, man. We're going to really break this thing open and just, just sit with it for a second. So that way, my words hopefully are able to help somebody that's dealing with these situations where I would like to first address to you, man, it's normal, dog. It's normal. The best of the best, you know what I mean? At the top, at the highest, myself included. <laughs> Still deal with this type of stuff, man, on a daily. I get that in most, in, in, in most occasions where you watching said person, you feel as if they're able to carry themselves with such confidence that you don't even recognize it. I'm telling you, doggy dog, it's that that's valid to a degree, but they still deal with nervousness, anxious thoughts, anxiety inducing feelings. You know, they, they deal with all of it. No different than what you're feeling. You got what I'm saying? When you finna step into what the ciphers. You know what I'm saying? When you know your number is finna be called and you don't even know what track they finna play. You don't know what move you finna put out. I know your guts is singing right now. <laughs> I know you finna take a little doozy. You know what I mean? I know all of that shit is happening because everybody deal with it, man. Everybody deal with it. And to address it, to start everything off with, man, the, the normalized feeling that I think should be something that's talked about more is the fact that in any of these situations for 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 whatever is is presented in front of you and you're, you're feeling anxiety a lot of this is something that i feel like is created by us ourselves you you know what i mean it's created by you there's things that i feel like of course you could articulate to me that would give me a sense of understanding for why you're thinking that way but based on everything that is projected from your state of mind from your perspective of what you feel i would let you know by the end of that or even not even let you know from what you also have experienced when you walk out the motherfucker you realize most of that shit is not even relevant it's not even necessary all that all that weight and pressure you putting on yourself it's not doing you no good it's not doing you no good it's all understandable but it's not doing you no good. So so what is we what are we dealing with it for? You get what I'm saying? What are we putting that on ourselves for? And a lot of times it happens subconsciously too. It don't even mean like it's not as if you want this motherfucker to be there. So I get it. And I'm just letting everybody know that this is something that's very normal. Except there are things that you gotta be proactive within to to put yourself in better positions to overcome it. You know what I'm saying? One of those things is when talking about the physical work, it's just how much do you understand your dance at this point? We could talk about all the mental variables that are going to be a part of, of the video, but the physical, it just, it, it's the most required because even with all the mental, I mean, if you walk into that motherfucker at a state of peace, everybody's calm and hello, brother, and, and everything is good, but but you you ain't saying shit. I mean, what good is it? You get what I mean? But that is necessary. So don't get it confused, but we definitely got to understand the physical work here. And I know a lot of times people do shit within the physical, but it's going to be ironic how I still tie it back into the mental. Don't lose me now. Because when you're doing the physical shit, you got to be mentally connected to what you're doing. A lot of times people mindlessly be moving through shit. You know what I mean? mindlessly be hitting labs and practices and they not really they not really figuring nothing out you know everybody on autopilot in this motherfucker you know what i'm saying when you hitting your labs what part of your labs is you really sitting within we talked about the work ethic we talked about the discipline the construction the structures of your rounds you know what i'm saying how fleshed out is it because when you step into the battle there's going to be two different scenarios that play out where when we talk about the practices, the first scenario is that you're in a state of comfort. So that gives you the chances to be able to display everything that you want when, when you're training 
to the highest. You have the you have the most chance of being able to maximize everything you want within this shit from a state of comfort with no real restrictions. When you get to this state, the battle, the cipher, whatever, the round you gotta throw out, you dealing with with X amount of variables that put a hindrance on your shit potentially and makes it more difficult for you. So ultimately, you having to deal with way more under under these circumstances that make it to where the discomfort you're experiencing is basically suppressing the 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 the, the state of your dance to be at a to be at a like a like at a max seventy percent. You know what I mean? You and you, you exerting yourself to a hundred percent, but maybe due to these pressures, you're not even really able to get to a hundred. You can only go to 70 while overexerting yourself, feeling like you're doing 100. You know what I'm saying? These are the things that you would have to be able to evaluate to try to figure out how to be at your most comfortable, how to be calm under pressure. A lot of times that can happen through being being more in tune to your dance. The more connected you are to your dance, the more understanding you have, the more confidence you naturally just going to have because you understand what you finna talk about. You understand your flow. You understand your steps. You understand your patterns. When you when you dealing with the discomfort that comes from your rounds and granted, of course, the people that don't understand what goes into this as a dancer, we dealing with the freestyle element of not knowing, you know, possibly what our moves is finna look like potentially. We don't, we don't know what we finna throw out. We don't know what the music is saying. We don't know what the feeling that's finna come with it. You know what I'm saying? You don't know the necessary uh, aura, the vibe of the room to, to, to uh, give off like a feeling for what affects you. You know what I'm saying? All of these variables create a reason of uh, feeling a certain way because of the uncertainty to then connect it to why you're uncomfortable. But in evaluating some of the things that we have control over, you understanding your dance and being able to express yourself to where everything else can then start to take care of itself. If I know that I can bust down like this, then afterwards, the things about, you know, people responding a certain way or or you hoping that, uh, you know, uh, it comes off a certain way, you hoping that you got a move down pack, whatever it is, you if you put in the work, it's making that a thousand times easier. You know what I'm saying? But granted, the other thing that I'm specifying that you do have control over is within your state of mind, you have to you have to recognize these situations that you're experiencing, being that you're the one that's creating them, you have to figure out how to disengage. You know what I'm saying? From all the the unnecessary like thoughts and projections that you put onto yourself to have to feel like you need to you need to uh overcome or you have to experience or deal with in a sense that literally you're the only person doing it to yourself you're the only person and you don't experience none of that when you're dancing for yourself when you when you at the crib you know what i mean when you in your lab when you in your when you in your place of peace ain't none of that shit relevant you need to carry that mindset to the battle Cause all of a sudden you get to the battle and you're thinking about everything. You know what I mean? You're thinking about the honeys. You're thinking about doing that one little move that might get you some action. You know what I mean? You're thinking about what the judges is saying. You're thinking about what some phonies is saying that you don't even know. You don't even care about. You're thinking about what other people are saying that's not even as good as you. You get like, like what is we doing? But you're doing all that to yourself. It's understandable, but you're doing all that to yourself. You gotta, it's not necessary. Get that up out of here. Get that up out of here. So when we focus on the physical and you see how I intertwine the mental that still goes towards this within the physical, you got to know what you're saying to be able to kick that in a way where now you're feeling one step closer to being able to rid yourself or make it easier for you to not have to feel nervous. The other aspects within the dance is something that I could talk about in a separate video to break these things down more extensively. If you would like to be able to work with me hit me in my discord i'm gonna drop a discord link in the description to where i work with people one-on-ones with the doc to be able to alleviate some of these problems within the dance within the physical but to move on from that a lot of this shit that we talk about within dance 
it's almost like an umbrella term that we use loosely casually to just say we're dancing but there's so many aspects of what goes into dance that i feel like most people are oblivious to think about it like this we talk about dance we talk about we talk we talk about the dance and how many of y'all motherfuckers understand music because i know it's not you how how much do you feel like you understand even the music if you don't think you understand the music, which which it makes sense, like it's calm for that to be the case, how many other variables within what goes into dance do you feel like you actually understand? And so as you're learning about these things from the experiences of also putting yourself in situations to challenge yourself in those uncomfortable like times, make sure you don't allow that to one, develop into fear, so then that way you don't don't allow the anxiousness to develop into fear that pushes you away from from overcoming but at the same time you're gonna have to understand the other variables at play here that make up the dance so then that way the more connected you become within those you also rid yourself of the feelings of nervousness anxiety and everything else that plays a role to to make it to where your dance is suppressed You got to understand the aspects of what is at play here or else you're going to be at a disadvantage. And the more you become connected within these things, you'll start to recognize that it's not just beating the beating the shit with with this idea like, oh, I got to practice. I got to practice. I got to practice because you could practice all day. You could practice every day in the state of where you're comfortable. Go to a spot where you're uncomfortable and and you fold in, you know, you folding up like one of them, uh, like what, what, like one of them chairs at the beaches. You folding up like a cheap suit. It's not going to work like that. So when you evaluating what it is that happens at the battles mentally, if you're doing the physical, then you realize some of the mental aspects of what you're going to need to understand to be able to rid yourself of a lot of those feelings of nervousness and everything that plays a part when you are doing whatever it is that's in front of you that's creating that feeling. And and one aspect that, that plays a role is like, even when I, I was watching a, a documentary, I was watching this Laker documentary and um, all the players, they they normally had a way of going through the motions of doing certain actions before a game. Uh, but they got the they got the new coach, Phil Jackson, man. Phil Jackson, he was implementing something that, that was foreign to everybody. And everybody was looking at it like, what the fuck you got me doing, man? This shit is goofy. What the fuck is this finna help me do when I'm when I'm doing a 360 reverse layup? You know what I mean? With my eyes closed. How is that finna help me? Dude was getting everybody on board, man, to start understanding meditation. You know what I mean? Understanding the state of of remaining calm through these situations where we feel so heightened that that one what caused you to burn out quicker. You know what I mean? You moving at a tempo to where you you possibly moving too fast because your feelings are so heightened. You may be not as alert and you're not as present because your mind is is racing. You know what I mean? You got to be able to remain calm, remain in control. You get what I'm saying? And through those through those type of experiences from watching outside things and realizing how since this is such a universal thing, it's not like it's a fucking dance problem. People deal with anxiety all the time. You just recognize how it's not really about the dance because you could be one of the best dancers on the planet and you can't overcome your anxious thoughts and feelings to where you just always going to suffer for that because you, you don't got a handle on it. You know what I mean? When when Phil Jackson is bringing in the meditation practices, niggas is just like, man, I'm hooping. I don't understand what this got to do with nothing. But then them niggas win uh, a what back to back to back championships. Not just because of that, but it's the framework. You know what I mean? Some people go into it with deep breaths through the nose, straight to the gut. You know what I mean? Get like good a good ten reps in, <sighs> straight to not not your chest, your gut. Let that sit for a second and release. You start to feel calm somewhat to a degree of where you're evaluating what helps you remain calm. Maybe go take a walk around the block real quick. Maybe go interact with some people. You know, your disciplines is definitely going to help you within, like I said, that confidence. But a lot of these things play a role just for that one round that you finna go throw out. You know what I mean? And a lot of times, too, it's just the repetitive action of putting yourself in that environment. If you recognize and this is what holding you, this is what holding you back. You got to keep going, man. 
like I said, do not let that develop into fear. You gotta, you gotta keep going, but you gotta be in tune. You don't, don't just pull up to the motherfucker and just keep doing it over and over and over, because then that's just dumb. But when you there, evaluate, assess, look at your footage, see what's making you feel uncomfortable within being able to recall the state of mind you was in, but then seeing how that's playing on your movement. Sometimes you gotta be able to also distinguish between what you're feeling and what you're doing, because sometimes you may be feeling like you're doing something that's but, you go look at the footage, you was like, nigga, I, I was actually calm. Do you know you know why you was actually calm in the movement in terms of everybody else? Because we don't know you going through that shit. Unless it's just apparent, like, because you look awkward as fuck. But if it wouldn't be calm at that point then. But if it's calm, recognizing how your mind is playing tricks on you, my boy, you getting Jedi mind trick by yourself. <laughs> you got to let it go, man. You got to let it go. But understanding that the work needs to be done. It's not just going to go away. But also understanding that even the best still get nervous. They still deal with that shit 15, 20 years later. Because that's just a humanly trait you, you just going to have. But there are ways to deal with it, to suppress it, to make it to where that does not, that does not constantly loom over over your 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 dance and, and it makes it to where you can never really showcase what you want to showcase i'll give you an experience where i was i was working with the gamals you know what i'm saying the gamals came over to the palace they was they was chilling at the crib playing uh what well we was playing uh, dragon ball z watching naruto having a good old time you know what i mean the motherfuckers maybe about one two o'clock in the morning cut on some tracks they said they want to get busy in my mind i'm thinking it's, it's time to it's time to activate why because you know I, I know these niggas i know they up there i want to be able to showcase myself not not to a assert dominance or or, or 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 overstep and be like what's up motherfuckers i'm big dick willie up here nah but i just i just wanted to just feel like i could be a part like y'all tight look at me nigga but at the same time i'm i'm feeling all of these things because i'm putting all this shit in my mind I'm, I'm overthinking a situation that don't need to be overthought. So it's not that I didn't do good. It's the fact that I didn't do what the fuck I wanted to do. I, I lost control to a degree. My body was fatigued way faster. Why? I wasn't breathing properly. To the, to the degree of what you're doing to yourself, it affects even shit that you're not recognizing my body is exerting more energy just to you know you know when you're at an event and you're nervous right before they call your name and, and you feel tired and you didn't even do nothing at that motherfucker because you was nervous the whole time you were exerting energy just to stand there you know what i'm saying i'm telling you all these aspects of of what we're talking about is 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 something that's just more wild to think about when when i express that it's you doing it to you ain't nobody else doing it it's understandable why but at the end of the day, you making yourself suffer for things when you walk out the motherfucker, when you leave the motherfucker, was you in danger? You know what I mean? Did anything happen at this motherfucker where you feel like that was necessary? Absolutely not. I promise you, brother. I promise you it's not. It don't mean you just going to be able to get over it. But at the same time, it just to sit in the back of your mind, like to let the doc be your consciousness. Calm down, motherfucker. Calm down, little nigga. Relax. It's all good in the hood. You know what I mean? I'm, I promise you, man. Go get a Coke and a smile and just realize it's all going to be cool. But you got to do the work. <laughs> you you got to do the work. 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 That's the only way. That's the only way. Holler at me, man. Get in the Discord if y'all want to get busy. You know what I mean? Let me know if you if it's time to mount up. But you got to do the work. You got to do the work, player. There's been other times when I'm expressing due to those disciplines, I feel like I'm at the highest stage of my dance right now. Come, come, come to the palace. I guarantee you I'll fuck you up. Give me your address. Uh, say something. I'm at the highest state of my dance that I've ever been at. But it's due to those disciplines. Now, do I still experience nervousness? Absolutely. You know what I mean? Absolutely. fucking -lutely. But I got something to fall back on. Same thing with the foundations that y'all don't have. We'll, we'll talk about that in another video. <laughs> you know, when y'all mixing styles on top of styles on top of styles. Well, we'll save, we'll save all that for another. But I have something to fall back on. My skill, it, it, it helps me feel more comfortable. Even in situations where I'm like, I don't even know where the fuck I'm at. I don't know what y'all finna do. But 
you know, I can just remain calm. I'm still gonna fuck you up, but in a calm manner. You know what I'm saying? Get in the comment section, man, and let me know all your experiences, because every last person has felt this. Every last person, man. So you're not alone. But leave leave a comment addressing the time that you felt anxious, nervous, anxiety was high. You get what I'm saying? Because of some circumstance you stepped into within this dance shit where you felt like, man, this shit just shut me down. I, I didn't even. But let me know. Also, maybe if you are in a state to where you feel like you figure something out, speak to the people, man. Let this be a space where you feel like you can come and and recognize everything that you feel like you experiencing is not some special case or something that's impossible to get over or maybe it's happening over and over and over and over and you're like fuck man i ain't gonna never make it past prelims <laughs> you could get some metals palace gear at metalspalace.com it's a dot com so you know it's legit that can automatically increase your chances to passing prelims almost by 100 percent. but at the same time you got to do the work that's to do the work but like i said get in my discord let me know if you want to work with the doc one-on-one. Four people get accepted a month going into July. I have three slots open. Let me know if you want to work with the doc, if you want to get to that next level. Because the work is going to need to be done. Understand that. If you want that honey that you that you want to, you know, you want to do the move for, you're going to have to do the work. You're going to have to do the work up here. It's that's the only way, player. That's the only way. But as you experience a lot of these things, you will start to understand more and more. A lot of this information can just be all hitting you at once and it pieces of it will start to make sense until it makes up the whole once you get more experience. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of things that make up this dance, man. A lot. Niggas be niggas be worried about the, the movement. Niggas be worried about the music. Niggas be worried about the 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 what what the fuck else niggas be worrying about instagram videos you know what i mean niggas be worried about what what somebody is thinking niggas be worried about all the techniques niggas be worried about making sure they understand every style within within a a certain trendy move niggas want to do another style on top of another style they don't even understand the style but then they want to mix the styles and then they they don't even want to really do this it's like there's too many things going on here bring it back bring it back (laughs) bring it back I'm telling you, man, make your make your make your job easy because you're the only one fucking stressing yourself out. You're the only one. And you're going to look around this motherfucker. and It's going to be all because of you, P. Diddy. All right. So slow down, Turbo. And let's get to work. Let's get to work. You're going to go hit the lab because if you don't. <laughs> I'm going to see you. I'm gonna, this is the only way I'm going to be able to look at you because I'm going to the top. I'm going to the top. I'm going to see you all when I see you all, man. Let me let me know what you all saying in the comments section. Better get the fuck up. Peace.